Hello, today we're going to be going over how to add a Google Map to your website. Uh, in addition to that, people will also be able to search directions uh, while on the same page. With that, we'll get started. Um, this isn't, first of all, this is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to our presence and put you in the fast lane to success. Learn more on our website, startcompetingcom slash tutorials. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is we're, we are going to be using a plugin for this. Um, you could just easily use one of the embed codes, but it's kind of a pain because sometimes it won't get centered, sometimes it's not big, sometimes it's too small. There's a much, way, much easier way to do it, and pe people will be able to search directions from within your site. First thing we're going to do is go to Plugins, Let's hit, hit the dashboard. Uh, you'll see plugins. I'll show you. It's already installed on mine, so I'll just show you the name. I've also put a link to it in the description of this video. Uh, another thing I should mention is there is a, a table of contents below. If you want to skip to any point in the video, um, if this might be even be your second time watching this, you decided you want to do it, you might want to just quickly skim through and get to what you need to do. The name of the plugin is MapPress Easy Google Maps. Um, so go to your you know search plugins, type that in, or just click the link down low, down below, and you can download it and install it manually, uh, upload it to the site. Once you do that, you're going to go down to settings and you're going to hit map press. And here's all the different options you have. You don't really have to change anything. I don't anyway. Uh, the only thing I changed when I downloaded this plugin was um, making it centered. I'm not even sure what default means, <laughs> but I just want it to be centered no matter what. So to do that, I just made sure it's uh, right in there. So once you hit center, scroll down, hit save changes. Now you're probably going to want to add this map to your contact page. You can add it to any page. Um, you know, prefer pr typically it's the contact page, but if you do want to use it on a different page, if you have multi locations for any reason, you can put it on different pages. First thing we're going to do is go to the page that we want to add it to um, and go to contact. And let's see, I have one map in there already, but I'm going to delete that. And here I'm going to delete this and redo it for you, right in front of you guys. All right, so right on the page now, um, we'll take a look at the page. We have contact us today, 978-8987-0092, whatever that is, um, just some random number. Uh, please don't call it. <laughs> so we want to add a map right here that says, you know, click here for directions and then they'll be able to search. Going back to edit the page. First thing you're going to do is, once you install MapPress, it's going to add it to this section here on all of them. So right now you don't have any maps in there. So you're going to do new map. Uh, call it whatever you want. I mean, I'm just going to put an office for now, but you could put whatever is necessary. Office. Okay, you're going to pick the size. I'm going to use the default size, but if you want it to be a little bit smaller, you can make it the 300 by 300. If you want it to be a little bigger, 640 by 480. Uh, 425 is typically sufficient. Um, up above where it says location, you want to type in the location. So I'm just going to put in... Um, I'm just going to put in... Let me get an address right, real quick. I want to put in something real. So... Alright, so I wonder if you guys can guess what this location is. It is 100 Legends Way, Boston, MA. Get the commas in there. 02114. That's uh, the TD Bank North Garden where our Bruins play. <laughs> if you're not a Bruins play, play, fan, I'm sorry. Uh, you can just, you know, that's just an address that we're going to use for this tutorial. Hit add. All right. And you'll see that adds it right on the um, right on the map with a little bubble. Everything looks good. And we'll hit save. All right. And there's the office. And now we're going to pick where we want it in the post. So I want it right there. Go down, scroll over it. Don't click on anything yet, just scroll over it so these little buttons pop up underneath and you can hit insert into post. 
All right, and that adds this short code here. And you can hit update. Okay, let's take a look at what that looks like. All right, and there's the map. Um, as you can see, there's really no way to tell um, what's going on here. You can actually click on that. If they click on it, they'll get the option for directions. Hit directions. That'll bring up the little bubble here. So if I wanted to go from, um, I'm in Swampscott, Mass. So I'll say Swampscott, MA01907. Get directions. That'll give you the directions right on your website. All right. They can also print right off of here uh, pretty easily. Print. All right. So that's a really cool feature. Uh, like I said before, there's really no indicator. Uh, it's not preferable. So I'm going to click back. Uh, and that resets this. What I would do if this were my website is I would tab down. And I would say click on the bubble for directions. A bubble, let's say a bubble below for directions. See how that looks. Refresh. And there you go. Nice and simple, straightforward. Click on the bubble. Okay, click on the bubble. Directions. There you go, right on your website. This has been another tutorial from Compete Now WordPress and eMarketing Tutorials. Give you the keys to your presence and put you in the fast lane to success. For more, check out our website, startcompeting.com slash tutorials. So until next week, um, yeah, that's this week's tutorial. And uh, good luck. If you have any problems, let us know. Send an email, fill out the form on our website, and we'll, we'll be happy to help. Thank you.